this very stylish beanie can read my brainwaves and I'm going to use it to pour myself a beer telepathically. So I'm sure you've all been in this situation, working the grill at the summer barbecue and you go to pour yourself a beer but it spills everywhere because your hands are full of the tongs and spatulas. So what's the solution? Well if this was a life hack channel we'd probably make some little hook implement to hang up the spatulas so we can hold a beer but that's boring and as we know the real life hack is to spend a week over engineering a solution to the problem because it gives you an excuse to make something cool instead so let's get into how we're going to build a mind reading beer dispenser so this might look like an early 2000s toy that i got off ebay because it is but it's also the cheapest way to get a basic electroencephalogram system or egg so an EEG is just electrodes on your head that read your brain waves in the same way an ECG or electrocardiogram reads your heart rate. You see, this game was just under $100 when it came out in 2009, but all it was was a headset and the main body, and it's aimed at kids and it's trying to get them to focus to make a little foam ball levitate, and that was pretty much the whole game. So it didn't sell very well because people didn't really feel like that was worth the high price tag. But the reason it's worth so much, and the reason a lot of people are still buying on one eBay for like 30 quid these days, is because it actually had a real EEG chip in it, an early one from uh, Neurosky, which is a company that still operates and make more advanced EEG systems now. But buying these old toys is pretty much the cheapest way of getting the early chips. And as I said, the chip in these headsets is very basic. You can't graph the brainwave data or anything coming out of it. It's just basically used to send an increasing voltage to the system which makes the fan increase which makes the ball levitate higher or lower but for our purposes that's going to do just fine so this is the headset it's got three electrodes on it two of them as these sort of ear clips and one of them goes on your forehead slightly to the right the EEG system measures the current between the forehead electrode and one of the ear electrodes and the third electrode acts as a reference electrode so when you put the headset on and connect the electrodes it calibrates for about 10 to 30 seconds trying to get a baseline for your relaxed state brain waves so then the instructions tell you to focus intently on the ball and try and get it to levitate and that does work you know okay but i don't find it's very easily controllable but i've since found that actually if you close your eyes and try and picture something in your head that's actually works much better for me it's much more repeatable it might be something to do with like the brain waves involved in imagining something aren't present when you're in a relaxed state so it's a more noticeable jump in brain waves rather than just sort of your active you know alpha waves then being slightly more activated by concentrating so, so to get started on the build i unscrewed the body and inspected the electronics it's quite simple inside i just cut off the speaker because it had an annoying robotic voice that i didn't need and I took all the electronics out but tried to keep most of it intact because I didn't want to cause any problems down the line. So I've got the headset on and calibrated now and you can see that as I start to concentrate and focus the LEDs start turning on from the red to the green and the motor starts spinning up. So I removed the motor and connected a multimeter in its place to see what sort of voltage we're working with and it turns out that when you reach the first green LED, the voltage is five volts. So that means that I can put a five volt high trigger relay straight into the circuit and it should trigger as soon as it reaches that first green LED, then drop down when it's any level below the green LEDs, which is ideal. If you're not familiar with relays, in this case, it's basically just a switch that turns on when it gets five volts into it. So we're gonna use it to turn on this drinks pump when the focus level reaches the green LEDs. So I organized all the electronics on top of the drinks dispenser and it's not the most slick looking thing in the world. I probably wouldn't take it to an airport. I also removed the electronics from the headset and put them inside the beanie because I figured it's slightly less embarrassing than walking around with a kid's toy on your head. So I practiced controlling it with a milk carton full of water and it was actually pretty easy to get the hang of turning it on when you want to but turning it off is a lot harder because you have to actively relax your brain quick enough while you're seeing the water almost reach the surface and spill over, which is kind of stressful. So eventually I got the hang of it by just sort of starting to relax when the cup was about half full and it manages to stop just before it spills over most of the time. <laughs> so 
So to test the device out properly, I attached it to a jug of dubious quality homebrew. So I just need to press the chunk of pencil that I'm using to reach the buttons. And it works perfectly first time. <laughs> so yeah, I might have slightly underestimated the speed of the flow on that one. But after a quick adjustment, I tried again and it works. So yeah, having to close your eyes and focus while you're working the grill is probably more inconvenient than just putting the tongs down and pouring yourself a beer, but that's not really the point is it? So since I built it I did take it to a party and got my friends to try it out and most of them managed to turn it on but they did struggle turning it off like I did. Uh, I also realised that the more you use it and the more inebriated people get the harder it is to use because focusing becomes more difficult. So that's uh, maybe a design flaw that's going to stop it going to market. But if nothing else, it's a pretty unique drinking game. So if you've got any other ideas for what I could mind control with this beanie, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye.